Senate President Earl Ray Tomlin, acting as governor, signed an executive order governing the drilling in the state's Marcella Shell region, as well as directed the West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection to create emergency rules as needed until the legislature comes up with regulations of its own. I've been working on this directive for quite some time, and I believe the requirements which I set forth will responsibly regulate Marcella Shell drilling, provide regulatory certainty in our burgeoning natural gas industry, protect our citizens and our environment today and in the future, create good paying jobs in our natural gas and manufacturing industries, and ensure that our partners in the private sector responsibly develop an abundant energy source for our state and our nation. Our citizens have expressed their concerns about Marcella shell drilling through letters, phone calls, emails, and events. And I want to thank those who took the time to contact me. I've heard you, and I believe that you will be pleased with my directive. With the additional regulations required by this executive order, I'm taking the first step in ensuring the responsible development of the Marcella shell. The executive order requires companies drilling within the city limits to file a public notice first, get engineer approval of any drilling operation that disturbs three or more acres, file a water management plan with the DEP if more than 210,000 gallons of water a month are used, and identify the designated and existing use of streams. The anticipated thousands of good paying jobs and the revitalization of our manufacturing and chemical sectors depend upon responsible development of the Marcella Shell. The future of our gas industry, our environment, and our people is at stake. Government must provide regulatory certainty for our citizens and for the natural gas industry. Regulatory uncertainty, like that created by the EPA in our coal industry, simply is not an option that I'm willing to consider. West Virginia is still without specific regulations for Marcella Shale. During the legislature's 2011 regular session, lawmakers couldn't agree on legislation, something the Senate still blames on the House of Delegates. No, I think the governor, I commend the governor for his action today, and as I understand it, the executive order will authorize the uh, secretary of the DEP to issue, issue emergency rules, which will have the force and effect of law on a temporary basis up to 15 months, I believe. And during that period of time, this legislature is going to be working very diligently and actively in trying to uh, address a long-term and permanent fix uh, framework. But I do commend the governor for his action. Many of the uh, many of the proposals in the executive order are items that have appear to be in agreement between the, 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 the houses and afford adequate protection to the environment, the citizens, public notice, and. Uh, uh, to the industry, so we think it's a, it's a win-win in the short term, and it's a, a first step, a, a, a much needed and uh, important first step. And again, I commend the governor for for that action. The DEP has permitted over 15,000 wells, with 622 wells already producing. The DEP is monitoring these wells and regular natural gas wells with 17 inspectors. We're looking. We're looking at a, this. This is a, a ramp up process. It's not something that will that will happen overnight. So uh, we we will adjust and, uh, uh, and and modify the program as we go forward. Industry officials praise the acting governor's proposal as a way to bring certainty to the industry. Well, first of all, I'd like to applaud the governor on his uh, direction he gave today. Uh, I think what the industry needs and what the investment community demands is some clarity and certainty in regulations. I think he's provided a great first step. Today. Still, those concerned about the dangers of fracking water, property rights, and air quality say much more needs to happen to make the industry safe. Delegate Mike Manypenny was one of several lawmakers and activists that spoke at a rally Monday calling for a moratorium on Marcellus Shale natural gas drilling until the legislature comes up with regulations. This is a step in the right direction. Okay. Uh, I believe we have a long way to go to fix all of the problems that there are out there with Marcellus and regulating it, protection of the service owners as well as mineral owners. Um, just, just this past Sunday we had a surface spill in Taylor County, a fracking flood, and there are no, uh, there's no legislation to hold these companies accountable when they're irresponsible. So I think we really need to look and, and go in a broader context to create more accountability within the industry and um, maybe implement some type of a fine for anybody that uh, is, is irresponsible enough that they, they can't manage their, their 
are well met. Tomlin was also criticized by the state Republican Party and his Republican opponent in the 2011 special election for governor, Bill Maloney, who both believe Tomlin has not shown leadership on this issue. Both Maloney and state Republican Party chairman Mike Stewart say Tomlin should have called a special session of the legislature in order to get solved regulations. This is Stephen Allen Adams for West Virginia Watchdog.